Hi, I'm Kelly, and these are my second semester projects for my class, Advanced Drafting. This year, we entered the IDEA Regional Drafting Competition um, in the Engineering Design Team, and we had to design a project related to for production or serving, and one of the things we had to do was record everything in what's called an engineering notebook. In our engineering book notebook, we had to record everything that we did. This included brainstorming, research, the modeling, and the prototyping stage. To conduct research, we visited our culinary classes we have here at Juliet Central, searched online to make sure that our design has never been created before, and we had to brainstorm and actually draw out sketches for our prototype. After coming up with some sketches for our prototype, we went into Inventor to create the 3D models. So we did the base, all the individual cutters, and the dowel rods, as well as the handles. After finalizing the sketches, we started to go into prototyping. So we used the laser cutter to create an initial cardboard, cardboard prototype. And after that, when we had fixed all the little kinks, we moved on to a sheet metal and uh, 3D printed prototype. Before we knew it, competition did arrive. So we had prepared a PowerPoint presentation, the trifold board, our printed out our drawing files, brought our prototypes, and we made some cookies to make the judges happy. At the end of the day, we ended up taking second place and assumed that we were heading on to state, but there was a little bit of a mix-up. So we ended up not going. This is just another picture post-regional competition. Although we didn't advance the state, I still wanted to showcase all the work we had put forth because we did spend a total of three months on this project. So after we created our new sketches, we decided to model these again in, 3D, in um, Inventor. So you can see this is our initial base with now um, cookie cutters already made into the plate. This is our locking mechanism, uh, the clips, and then the pin that would hold them into place. All the dowel rods are now individual and not directly attached to the cutters themselves. These are the handles. And this would be a lid so that way you can store everything, all the pieces that go with the cutter inside of the whole piece. This is a burger press so that way you can use it not only for cookies but also for burgers. And the next few slides are all going to be the cutters that we came up with. They're now tapered, so that way you can make a cleaner cut. These are some detailed drawings of the steelman. And that's that. After finishing our cutter, I finally moved on to my own personal project. So the first thing I started with was whale tail hooks. Now, I needed to do this because I have a lot of neck medallions at home that have never been hung up, and I would like to do that before I go to college. So I started off with doing some research, and after I did some research to figure out like how a whale tail, like the anatomy of a whale tail, and how they would look like on a hook, I started to sketch these ideas out. So I came up with a few different bases and different styles and different angles for the tail to be sitting at. After sketching, I moved on to 3D modeling, and it was very challenging because I had to use the loft tool quite a bit, and then I had to do some tapering, and those tapers would not work with the loft tool that had been previously used. So it did take a little bit longer than anticipated to figure out how to properly model it in Inventor, but it worked out, and after we, 3D, after we modeled it, I took it into Cura to prepare for 3D printing, and here you can see the 3D printed model. After all the support was removed, this is what it looks like and will now be hung up at home to hang all of my neck medallions from. Next, I moved on to building a CO2 dragster. So first I had to do some research and I found um, a couple different things that I could model my car off of. I found example CO2 dragsters and I also looked at actual dragsters in real life. I actually discovered in my research that these things called shark fins actually reduce turbulent airflow and I realized that on the sketch that I had come up with for my dragster that I needed to add this fin so that way I could reduce the airflow, the turbulent airflow right here above where the CO2 canister would sit. After finalizing what I wanted my CO2 dragster to look like, I moved on to prototyping. 
I used a styrofoam piece and then drew out my prototype with pen, outlined it with Sharpie, and then colored it in so I could accurately see where I needed to make cut lines with the foam cutter. After drawing out what I wanted my CO2 director to look like on the styrofoam, I used the foam cutter to cut it out and then I had to tape my shark fin attached on to the top of it because I couldn't get it to stay on there just with the, the foam. All right, after I finished my styrofoam prototype, I decided to 3D model it. And the way I did this was I started with the initial block that I had and I put the initial holes in it so I knew where the CO2 canister was gonna go and where the holes for the axles were gonna go. After that, I did a lot of cut and fillets to create the CO2 dragster design that I wanted. This is the drawing file of my CO2 dragster. After finishing modeling, I looked online to find a wind tunnel simulator, and I was able to set up um, an STL file inside of the simulator and see exactly how the airflow um, would go past my dragster. So the orange you can see is the turbulent airflow, whereas the blue is the laminar airflow or smooth airflow. After making some minor adjustments to the shark fin, we prepared the dragsters to be 3D printed. Here you can see the different stages they went through throughout the 3D printing process. Finally, we put everything together and we're off to race day. Okay, so we did two races. So the first race got kind of messed up because my CO2 dragster's um, little eye hook actually got wrapped around the fishing line. And so it got stuck halfway down the track and the CO2 canister went flying out the back. You can see that on the left that the dragster got stuck. And on the right, it completes the race, and I won. <laughs> Throughout the past year I've been in advanced drafting, I've learned a lot and really honed in on my skills using AutoCAD, Inventor, Photoshop, Adobe, and um, the 3D printer and the laser cutter. Now, what's really nice about this is that I'm going to be studying mechanical engineering when I get to college. Um, I'm going to be going to Northern Illinois University, and... A